Audit phase complete. Cerebral link, patient number black 001. Pandora unit terminal disconnect. Would you like to commence archive data review, Dr. Ramsey? Uh, yes. Switch to Savant unit playback. Begin the review. Oh, and Hope, could you also fire up a coffee machine? Doctor, prior to review, my medical recommendation would be the implementation of a minimum four-hour rest period. Further caffeine intake will only delay fatigue, not arrest it. Then make it a double shot. Three sugars. I also need a baseline memory to carry out the review. Which was the most stable from those recorded? That would be... this. Cached on initial Pandora system startup of patient Black 001. Good. Well, then let us explore a complete memory before we review the broken. Proceed with interactive playback. Data review imminently. Decoding memory cache and savant playback. Binary filters online. Servers currently running at optimal speed. Inputting biorhythmic feedback parameters. Deep insulin injection in three, two, one. You are ready to go, Dr. Ramsey. Stay away from me. Stay away. It's okay. My dad sent you. Okay, I'm in. Commencing review. Now, where is... Free to continue with the review. Here we are. Warping script active, Dr. Ramsey. Good. Okay, let's follow the trail. See what really happened. Save the girl. where they held her. Oh, Christ. I... Careful, Dr. Ramsey. Control. Ah, 
you know, hope. This is really quite satisfying. Doctor, might I remind you to control your emotional engagement while conducting the review? Any spikes in serotonin, dopamine, or adrenaline levels could... I know, I know. Cause distortion. Noted. Thank you, Hope. Here, Hope. I wonder, was this a result of Black trying to hide something? Or from the Pandora itself? Yes, Dr. Ramsey. Black perceived threat here, which has bled across from the audit. Nothing I can do. Makes it more difficult. I'm not trained like Black was. No matter. Fix all this. I promise. Emotional spike detected. Caution advised, Dr. Ramsey. I will get to the bottom of this, and whoever is responsible will pay. Dr. Ramsey? Dr. Ramsey? to the Pandora playback. I am trying to pinpoint precisely where or when you are. I am afraid your emotional state has caused a minor malfunction in playback. You are outside the code, Doctor. I would recommend caution. The data is unstable, fragmented. You must remain calm or you risk... Don't tell me the risks, Hope. Just get me out. Now, let's see where we are.
this place. This is one of my memories. Jesus, Father. I can't believe you brought them here. What are you thinking? Rose, this is an FDG facility. My facility. Staffed by the best doctors money can buy. There is no better care. I'm not talking about that. You don't need doctors, Rob. You need... You need a fucking mortician. Oh, God, this is such a mess. Rose, just breathe. I need you together. I need you with me on this. Oh, no. This is that memory. Doctor, your vitals are reading as erratic. You must calm down or you risk full mental fracture. Too late. Hope, get me out of here. I'm trying, Doctor. Just a little longer. Come on. Come on. Come on. Where am I? Oh. Doctor, try reconstructing the memory. Look for and interact with any memory imprints. It will allow me to pinpoint and remove you. I'm trying, Hope. I really am. Just seeing this again is difficult for me. What's happened to this poor fellow, then? Blast injury? Some fragmentation. But we also suspect gastrointestinal injuries, too. Mmm. Nasty. Why were you there, Mr. Black? I need to know. I need your memories. This music should stimulate your recall, Black. It's Grace. My Grace, playing the violin. You used to hear it in my office. Remember, Black. What did you do? Data indicates that you are making progress. Thank you, Hope. I thought as much. Feels like the Savant and I are beginning to synchronize, finally. Looks like this one's being transferred. He's not particularly stable. Are you sure that's wise? This comes right from the top. But to transfer him to a private medical facility. That's unorthodox. Who is he?
Looks like I can proceed now. I need to get out of the loop. You're ready as you can be, Mr. Black. We'll be moving you tomorrow. Okay. Just where is he being transferred, exactly? All we've been told is he'll be picked up in a private ambulance tomorrow morning. What about the girl? Oh, there's nothing we can do, I'm afraid. That poor, poor girl. I did everything I could. There was nothing more I could... in place for the transfer. We're just waiting on the ambulance. This all seems a little drastic. Are you sure this is the best decision? He'll be safe in my care. I need to get to the bottom of what happened. I think what you need is sleep. Especially after Grace. Do not talk to me about Grace. I won't tell you again. Grace. My poor Grace. One moment, Dr. Ramsey. Your signal is much clearer now. Pulling you out. Do you wish to proceed? Yes, Hope. Apologies. How many problem memories did I bookmark in the audit? Three problem memories were bookmarked. And they're all significantly corrupted? Yes, Dr. Ramsey. We should have sufficient data to make sense of them when reviewed. Let's review in the same order we audited, Hope. Load the first bookmark. Loading. Commencing Savant playback, bookmark 001, the death of Jasper Prado. A warning, Dr. Ramsey, this memory is highly fragmented. Which is precisely why I marked it for review. I want to see what, if anything, Black was hiding. Your notes on the memory are succinct, Doctor. What exactly happened to Prado? Yes, what indeed. Thank you for the reminder. Though the question isn't really what happened to Prado, Moreover, how it happened. I would also remind you to work quickly, Dr. Ramsey. I will keep the memory stable for as long as the Savant encryption allows. Black! For God's sake, hurry! I'm trapped! You can stop this! I was here to stop Jasper getting killed. I'm sure. To stop Jasper getting killed. Okay, I'm in. Time to work through, find Jasper, and get a true sense of events.
you mean? Cole Black. You don't want to mess with that guy, mate. Trust me. Yeah, but has he got clearance? You can ask him if you want, mate. I'm leaving him well alone. Stop this. Jasper, you brought this on yourself. I warned you so many times. I've got too much to lose here. Black, for fuck's sake, listen to me. Curiouser and curiouser, Mr. Black. Just keep him there. Don't worry, I just need to talk to him, that's all. Whatever you do, don't listen to him. He can be one slippery bastard. Oh, so it looks like you did see Prado before he died. I wonder... close to the point of Jasper's unfortunate demise. So, how stable is the memory? Holding up, Doctor, but move quickly. Dr. Ramsey, I'm detecting extreme resistance ahead. Proceed with caution. Yes, Black's memories are trying to block themselves. What did you see, Mr. Black? Jasper. Just up ahead. I heard him shouting. Please, what's going on? They took him. And I don't know on whose order. I tried to stop it. That's why they threw me in here. And you said you'd done nothing wrong. You're lucky to be alive, pal. Please. Don't leave me here. Black. 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 Got 
tank. Hurry. You can stop this. I was here I to stop Jasper getting killed. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. Take a look at yourself, would you? What the fuck are you doing? Shut up. Jesus. How's it come to this, pal? We go back, you and me. We're friends. I said shut up. Make you feel important, does it? Tying an old buddy up like this. Holding him at gunpoint. You said we'd be in this together, me and you. You said it'd be just like old times. And you said you'd do as you were told. Seriously thinking about pulling that trigger. Fuck me, man. This is all a bit drastic. Let's just talk about this. You crossed the line, friend. You do this, you're gonna ruin everything. Wheels are in motion. Everything changes if you try and stop this.
Okay, let's reconstruct this mess. Hope, do we have sufficient data? Yes, Dr. Ramsey. Run simulation. I always liked you, Jasper. Listen to me. Just put the gun down, okay? You do this, and everything changes. Just put the gun... What's happened now, Hope? Memory corrupted, Dr. Ramsey. A byproduct of the reconstruction. Is the memory fighting to protect itself? Possibly. Or the result of exploring an amnesic memory. This is untested ground, Doctor. Neutralize the threat, and I can pull you out. I was here to stop Jasper getting killed, I'm sure. I was here to stop Jasper getting killed. Sure. Black, for fuck's sake, listen to me! I was here to stop Jasper getting killed, I'm sure. Just put the gun! there to save Jasper. Hope, was this memory deliberately corrupted? Insufficient data to draw a reliable conclusion, Dr. Ramsey. Huh. Killed him. And all we have to go on is that Jasper wasn't doing as he was told, and that he crossed a line. Make a note of that, Hope. Note recorded. Okay. Let's load up the second bookmark.
Loading, but please note, this is the most corrupted of the bookmarked memories. Geography of certain details may be fragmented. Black also perceived threat here, which will bleed across from the audit. You may need to engage in combat again, Dr. Ramsey. Caution advised. Understood. This was the Homewood Cemetery memory, correct? Correct. Black, listen. I know you're angry. I know you're angry. But the wheels are in motion. But the wheels are in motion. I didn't want it to be this way. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I remember now. I killed her. I'm in. Let me take a moment to orientate myself. Proceed with caution, Doctor. I'm picking up heavy resistance embedded within the playback code. Then let's find a weapon. Perfect. Thank you, Hope. mate you need to fucking stop this right now i told you the situation was delicate i told you no improvising call me back
enhancing playback, Doctor. And that's what you've brought me all the way out here to ask. Hey, you chose the meeting place, Morticia. Oh, Jesus, Black, I don't understand. I mean, yes, of course I'm tired of the way things are with Robert. Living in his shadow, both at work and... Well, but it won't be like this forever. I believe that. You've worked for him long enough. You know what Robert's like. Yeah, yeah, I do. That's what I asked. Just think about it. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Hmm. Geography seems broken on this one. All right, Atkins. Now, what the fuck is going on? Black, listen. I know you're angry, but the wheels are in motion and there's nothing either of us can do to stop them. I can't have anyone standing in my way, especially not you. So you can have me killed now? Is that it? I didn't want it to be this way, but you're now a liability. Security! Make it painless. Ah, for fuck's sake, Atkins. Goodbye, Black. I'm sorry. fucking calm down. Tell me what's going on. Tell me why I wasn't informed or heads will fucking roll.
Calm down for a moment. I can't talk on this phone. Meet me at Holmwood Cemetery. I'm heading there now. You are getting close, Dr. Ramsey. The memory data is cached and decoding. This memory was blocked deeper than the previous. Is this because we had readings from conflicting synaptic layers? Negative, Doctor. It seems the block came from a conscious effort on the subject's part to hide specific details. Of course. Thank you, Hope. Let's proceed. is in here, and any time she sees me, she loses it. What am I supposed to do? I work here. I have to be able to stand up for myself. I know. But no matter what's going on with you and Ramsay, she's still the big man's wife. Calm it down. At least for the foreseeable. Only bad things will come of it if you don't. Is that a threat? No, Atkins. It's just some friendly advice. Doctor... All memory recordings of Rose Atkins have been accessed and reviewed. Would you like me to prepare a simulation for you to explore? Just give me a second, Hope. Okay. Let's find out just how involved she was. this way, Black, don't you see? Ramsey doesn't care about Lenore, he cares about me. It's far more effective to get the girl, and it's the same outcome either way. No, not the same outcome, Atkins. The plan was to break him, not provoke him. I was a pawn in a game you didn't even know was being played. Grace? I couldn't have been any clearer. 
Get Lenore outside. Bring her in peacefully. No one gets hurt, I said. And do not let that idiot Jasper near any form of explosive. He doesn't know what he's doing. He seems to know a lot about bombs to me. You don't know bombs, Atkins, and you don't know him. But I know both, and I can tell you this with absolute fucking certainty. He has put the lives of anyone near that bomb in danger, his own men included. That bomb goes off, we're all fucked. Are you able to detect Grace's presence in this memory? Negative, Doctor. What on earth is happening here? Have you got the girl? We brought her in, yeah. And the ransom demand? Not yet. We'll send it in the morning. Then it's not too late. Don't get any ideas. You can't do anything to stop this black, so don't even try. Listen very carefully. You're going to tell me where he's keeping her, or I'm going to kill you. Do you understand? Don't be ridiculous. Tell me, or I kill you. The one glimmer of hope in all this, my saviour. He wasn't even trying to save me. Me. He was trying to save himself. So. Is it possible that... Is what possible, Doctor? Never mind. do this for your family. You did it for yourself. You want to know the role your family, your mother, played in all this? <laughs> An excuse. An excuse for just another one of your obsessions. Another playback malfunction, Dr. Ramsey. Recommend abandoning review until emotional stability returns. I am perfectly stable. Just bring me back out. I left this behind for you, you know. Setting up my own studio, taking on commissions. I left it all behind to be your wife. And for what? <sighs> Shit. Convenience to you, Grace and I. It's not just that you neglected us. It's that you didn't even want us there in the first place. Having difficulty locating you, Dr. Ramsey. You may have to find your own way out. I don't. I don't know what 
any of this was about. But if it was all about Rose, go and be with Rose. If it was all about your precious Pandora, go and be with your work. Do whatever you want. But I won't be part of it. Not anymore. I don't care about the implications of your work, Robert. I've never cared. And changing the world means nothing to me if I can't have my family. long to realize that you were never going to have the decency to leave me. You know what I've come to understand? For all your genius and passion, for all your talk of changing the world, you're a coward. You're just a coward. Emotional stability is required in order to proceed safely. Let's load up the third bookmark, can we hope? Did you hear me, Dr. Ramsey? I said I recommend abandoning... I heard you! I heard you. Please, just load the third bookmark. Yes, Doctor. Loading. Please note, as with the second bookmark, memory geography is likely to be fragmented and combat is a strong possibility. Th thank you, Hope. This is Black's meeting with Howard, correct? Confirmed. You tagged this memory with reference to both Black and Howard, Dr. Ramsey. Final piece of the puzzle, it seems. I envy no man, Black. If someone has something I want, I take it for myself. See him now. You still on board? Oh, I don't know for sure, no. But I've got a pretty good idea. Yeah, well, if that's the case, it's been a pleasure knowing you. I don't know, call it instinct. Speak later. <laughs> <laughs> Man. 
memory glitch is becoming more well, and more I frequent. I would say my greatest strength is probably my determination. Because I work harder than anyone else. If something needs doing, I will do whatever it takes to get it done. Damn you, Rose. Damn you to hell. This could all have been avoided if I just listened to Lenore.
Prado is black. Alive for now. Yeah, maybe some other time, right? Listen, I might have some work to throw you away if you're interested. Pays good. Situation is delicate, though, you understand? You're not going to be allowed to improvise on this one. Yeah? Sure. I'll call you more details if he's a goer. Not again. This has to stop. But I got you a present. It's a notebook for all your brilliant ideas that will change the world. So you never forget. Oh, Lenore. What have I done? I could explain everything to you, to help you understand. Which is energy that's emitted from an object, right? <laughs> you make a really good teacher, you know that. I will find out who is responsible for this, Grace. Whatever it takes. I promise. Thanks, Dad. Sweet dreams. the money here. It's a genuine meeting. He's got some plan he thinks you could help out with. Ask me if I thought it was crazy getting you involved. And do you? I think you're a man that can be trusted. I suppose we'll find out. Thanks.
questions asked. Sweet dreams. All your brilliant ideas. Deny you had anything to do with it. I will do whatever it takes. So you never forget. You've gone completely off-grid this time. Are you safe? I'm safe. Just pull me back out. Searching for you now. Concentrate on the memory you wish to return to. Focus on Howard, Dr. Ramsey. See if you can locate him. Focus and find a way back, Dr. Riley. Howard. Mr. Black. Been a while. Last time we saw each other would have been... Let me see. When I stole the corner gun. Ah, yes. When you stole my corner gun for Robert Ramsey. Really, I should just have killed you on the spot. I'd feel so much better about everything. I've seen this. to even the playing field a little. Do something similar to Ramsey. And I racked my brains and I just couldn't think of who would be the best man for the job. Then it occurred to me. Me? I'm Ramsey's head of security. Why would I work for you? I don't understand. How can this be the truth? man has his price, Black. Especially you. I'm paid well. Yes, but not as well as you'd like to be. Not as well as you could be. It's not about the money. <laughs> that old chestnut. Okay, fine. Then how about this? According to my sources, Ramsey has a surprisingly accurate record of your criminal history, far more so than the police. Seems to me he's got you over a bit of a barrel. Work for him or go to prison. The way I see it, Mr. Black. You're his bitch. You sound jealous. I never saw it like that. He was my employee. I envy no man, Black. If someone has something I want, I take it for myself. So here's my offer, and I'll only make it once. You work for me, not Ramsey. I devise a plan to get Ramsey's Pandora device, 
and you carry it out. You name your price within reason, and if you're successful, I'll forget about the whole corner gun fiasco and we'll both be on our merry way. How does that sound? If I refuse... You're alive because you're useful, Black. Don't get any ideas. No. This never made any sense. Excuse me. I said no. I'm not sure I've been clear enough here, Black. Oh, you've been clear. But I refuse your offer, Howard. I'll not work for you. I'll never work for you. I'll not carry out this little plan of yours. I don't agree to any of it. I refuse. There was more. Clever boy, Black. You've got to believe me. I'm telling you, that's what happened. I promise. I'm not hiding anything. Surprising. And very foolish. However, I will allow you to work for me. Go on. I have a plan that I know will work. I have people in mind who I know will help. I don't want your money. I want your manpower and your resources. I'll be in charge and I'll take down Ramsey from the inside. In return, I'll get you Ramsey's Pandora tech. You do exactly as I say or there's no deal. So it was you. I trusted you, Black. I gave you work and paid you well. And this is how you repay me. After all we've been through together. Everything that happened to my family. To Grace. It was all because of you. My own employee. Well, you're not so imposing a figure now, are you, Mr. Black? Nothing but a vegetable in my basement. I could do whatever I want. And there would be nothing you could do about it. Well, fuck you, Black. Fuck you to hell. You were dead when you came in here, and there's no way I can let you go now. You were the architect of my downfall. Perhaps ending you is a mercy I will come to regret. I will find out in time. Goodbye, Cole Black. Doctor, I'm getting some very strange readings. Extreme caution advised. You never focused on what was important! Grace? Grace? Is that you? I understand now. I understand everything. I know you're there. I know you're watching. You had it all backwards. I know. My child, I, I know I did. Grace, can you hear me? You had a family that loved you. Can you hear me? Let me know if you can hear me! How could you get it so wrong? Grace, shit! Grace, if you can hear me, I'm going to show you some things, okay? I'm going to show you how all this came to be. Your mother was right. This was all my fault, and I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Let me help you understand. I get it now. This is all because of you. Grace, please. You let us all down. You put your creation before your family. No, no, you let dear. me down. I know. I was a fool. <laughs> <laughs> Please, give me a chance to explain. I needed a doubt. Where are you? Let me show you. Look. <laughs> 
me show you. You're familiar with this man by now, my love. He protected everything I'd worked to build. Did all the dirty work for me. But I made a terrible mistake. I know this will upset you, and I'm sorry. But your mother and I... We just grew apart. Rose understood what I was trying to accomplish with the Pandora in a way that nobody else could. And I did love her. But I never stopped loving you, Grace. I thought we could finish up a little early today. Go and grab a meal at that new Thai place. Let off a little steam. <laughs> what do you think? If this is going to work out between us, you need to understand that Lenore and Grace will always be part of my life. That's just something you need to accept. You either commit to something, or you end up with nothing. I couldn't commit to Rose, because I didn't want to abandon my family. And I couldn't commit to my family because I was too consumed by my work. And Rose was right. I ended up with nothing. I can't live like this any longer. With every day that passes, another little bit of me dies. I know you're too blind to see it, but you did this to her. I can't bear the sight of you, and I refuse to be your wife. I couldn't commit to her. Couldn't give her the love she deserved. But I refused to let her go. As for you, Grace, my darling daughter, I loved you so much. Adult brains, I understand. But this, this is just incessant, incoherent gobbling. What on earth is she doing? I just didn't understand what it meant to be a father. All right, you, come here. Although I have no idea what you're saying, and I can say with a reasonable degree of certainty that you have no idea what I'm saying, I got it wrong, Grace, and I'm sorry. Your mother once said I used you as an excuse to work. I don't know if she was right, but I know I wanted you to be cared for, and I know I wanted you. I wanted you to have a father you could be proud of. I'm sorry. I failed. Okay, Grace, it's time to finish the session. You've seen everything. Just give me a moment. You're right, I, I've seen enough. Grace? Grace, my love, are you okay? Yeah. The technology has no adverse effects that we know of. She'll be absent. I wasn't talking to you. Grace. I, I, I'm fine, Mum. I'm, I'm thinking. Grace? Listen to me. I've done everything you asked. All we need is for you to sign a few papers and we can continue where you're... Sweetie, going. you don't have to make this decision now. You're exhausted. Let's just head home, okay? Grace, talk to me. 
All you need to do is sign and we'll transfer the money within You're 20... You're a piece of work, you know that. Lenore, this is between me and Grace. This isn't anything to How do with you. How fucking dare you! <sighs> I'm in a room with my crippled daughter, my dead husband and my dead husband's whore! This is everything to do with me! Lenore, this is business. And from what I heard, your dead husband very nearly left you for that whore. You... Shut up! Shut up, both of you! Mum, I've got this. You put me in this wheelchair. You do realise that, don't you? Well, without you, my parents are still together and my father is still alive. Grace, what are you saying? Are you telling me she's responsible for all Grace, this? Grace, I don't know what you saw. You want her to sign those papers? <sighs> you want her to allow you to work with Robert's technology? Then you don't fucking grace her. To you, she is Miss Ramsey, and you don't speak unless you're spoken to first. Am I making myself clear? Yes. Perfectly clear. Perfectly clear? Miss Ramsey. How many functional headsets do we have? Fully functional. Only one, Miss Ramsey. Your father. This one? That's right. No. No! No, Grace! And now you have none. Do you have any idea what you've just done? This ends today. My father was a misguided man who didn't understand what he was dealing with. And I certainly can't trust you to do the right thing. You're going to regret that. No, I won't. Nobody should be obsessing over things they can't change, shutting themselves off from the present. Memories belong in the past, and my father deserves to be dead. You're playing a very dangerous game, Grace. Threats? Oh, how very original of you, Rose. Well, what are you going to do? Kidnap me again? Strap another bomb to me? There is nothing you can threaten me with that's worse than what I've already been through. So fuck the headset, and especially fuck you! Let's go home, Mum. Of course. You haven't heard the last of this, Grace. It's Miss Ramsey. And yeah, I have. No, wait! Come back! Let's discuss this! No! There's nothing more to talk about. Grace! Goodbye, Rose. Goodbye... Dad.